They say she the devil Knew it as soon as I met her She tried to get to me, I tried not to let her Tried to be good to her, but I knew better I never considered it, I was just into it Fuck intuition, cause I'm on a mission Was never suspicious, the way that she looked at me I was so finished I thought I needed you, even though I hated you Running in circles, but you should've ended it Know that I hurt you I thought I needed you, even though I hated you What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a pulsing effect in Vegas Pro 15. So I'm going to be recreating what I have just shown you using the exact same song, however using a few different clips. So the song is by J. Kill called I Don't Love You, and I'm going to drag and drop this in. Now as you can see, this is what we'll get. And this right here is our audio waves. So this is where you need to pay attention to your audio, or I should say know your audio, and know where the kicks are, or the hard hits. So I'm gonna play it through. Pretty simple where I want my uh, screen pulsing or pump to happen. So right where this sound pump happens. So the bass. Now what we're gonna be doing is going through the song and picking out the part where this occurs. So all we're going to do is find that, and you can see it's right here, and I'm going to press M on my keyboard to lay down a marker. Then I'm just going to play through. And you can see there was another one there, and I'm going to press M on my keyboard again to lay down a marker. So this is what you would first do. You just go through and find the part where the uh, kicks are. So it can be time consuming depending on your video, and of course also depending on your audio. So I'm just going to keep going through like this. Now I'm not going to go all the way through because I'm pretty sure you get the idea now but now let's get into how to actually create the pulsing effect. So it's really simple, after you lay down your markers you want to zoom in and you want to press S on your keyboard to split where that marker is. Now what we're going to be doing is going forward 5 frames. So you can press this button up here to go forward 5 frames or you can press the right arrow key on your keyboard 5 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split. As you can see, we now get this little clip sectioned out. I'm then going to come across to the next marker and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to press S on the keyboard. I'm then going to come across five frames and I'm going to press S on my keyboard again to split. So then we have this clip. So I'm just going to do this for the rest of the clips very quickly. Okay, there we go. So I've laid them out and now we're going to be saving a lot of time. We're going to be working with the first clip. So we're going to come to the pan and crop. Now using the pan and crop, all we're going to be doing is some basic keyframing. So we're going to stay on position, we're going to have a sync cursor highlighted, we're then going to come across, now of course we have picked 5 frames, so you can't be bang on in the center. You, you can, maybe you go to 6 frames, or even 8 frames, it depends how quick or how slow you want this pump to happen. I'm going to leave it at 2, and all I'm going to do is drag in from the corners. Before I do that, you want to make sure you have lock aspect ratio highlighted, along with scale about center. This will keep everything in proportion when you bring it in. So I'm going to drag in and now again this is all personal preference you can have a little pump or you can have a really big pump so you can see that's how much is going to zoom in so it's completely optional but anyway I'm going to leave mine just here I'm then going to come across to the end I'm going to select right click and restore believe it or not we are technically done so our life's been made a lot simpler now all we're going to do is right click and select copy on the one we have just created that effect we're then going to left click the next one, hold control and left click the other one. And we're going to keep holding control and selecting what we've done. Then we're going to right click and select paste event attributes. Now what I'm going to be doing is playing it through and you can see this will now be done. Now in case your video preview does lag, it can happen. Simply come to where it says best full and change this to preview and auto. Now I'm going to play it through for you and this is now what we have. As you can see, that is how you can create a pulsing effect in Vegas Pro 15. It is very, very simple to create and of course, the more uh, kicks you have in your song, the more time consuming it will be. 
that's it for this tutorial, hopefully it has come across as useful, and I'll be back for another tutorial soon. They say she the devil, knew it as soon as I met her. She tried to get to me, I tried not to let her. Tried to be good to her, but I knew better. I never considered it, I was just into it, fuck intuition. Cause I'm on a mission, was never suspicious. The way that she looked at me, I was so finished. I thought I needed you, even though I hated you.